Suspect is in sight. Suspect headed to bank. Suspect talking to manager, pointing out the account numbers. Suspect sending money right now. We just got $150,000 of her money. Vacation time. Do not let this happen to you when you are buying your dream home. This is very important. Wire fraud is on the rise and it is huge. And they are taking people for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And let's get on to that right after this. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here with Nationwide Real Estate Executives here in the Long Beach area and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know about, about where you want to live, where you want to work, where you want to eat, and where you want to play, and even about wire fraud. I have been helping so many people relocate to the Southern California area through this channel, and I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel, just like Manny Islam did from Queens, New York. So if you or anybody that you may know is in need of a realtor in the Long Beach or one of the surrounding cities, all you have to do is give me a call, send an email, shoot me a text or just register on my website and I will personally call you. So when you're buying your home, you're going to be asked to wire money to the escrow company. And that's what this video is all about here today and how to protect yourself because wire fraud is here and it is real and it is huge. So this should not be taken lightly in any manner whatsoever. So that's why I created this video is because we needed to talk about this to protect you and your asset. So what is wire fraud exactly? So when you're buying or selling a home, typically you're gonna have large sums of money transferring hands. So instead of going to the bank or writing a check, getting a cashier's check, you just make it simple and you wire the money. You know, it's not like Breaking Bad where everything's done in just bags of cash. That's pretty cool stuff. That's my lockdown watching binge. So instead of example for writing a check for $75,000, so what you do is you just go to your bank and do a wire transfer. After all, that sounds safe and should be secure, right? Well, I used to think that too until I attended these meetings about uh, wire fraud and people were losing $200,000, $150,000 by wiring their money to the wrong account number. And it's it's actually pretty easy with all the cyber fraud that they have going on these days. So here's exactly how it goes down. Your escrow company will send you an email saying, we are ready for closing on Thursday. So you need to wire the remaining balance due to the escrow company and here are the instructions. Here's the bank account number, the routing number, and the amount that you are wiring. So you receive this email thinking it's from your escrow company, but in reality, it has been hacked. Somebody intercepted the email, changed out the number, and sends it to you. So why would you think all those numbers have been changed? Everything has been going great up until this point. You wouldn't. That's the problem. You wouldn't think about that. So when you open up that email, you have no idea that things are about to fall apart in the worst possible way. Because you just wired your life savings to what you believe to be the escrow company for your dream home that you have worked so hard for but in reality it just went to some asshole's account in the Cayman Island leaving you nothing but screwed. Now when this happens a very very small percentage of victims do get their money back but most of the time it is just gone. So what can we do to help protect you against this while you're buying your home? But before we get into that this little video is brought to you by my buddy Chuck Norris, who says, give me a like. Well, he is one way of protection. <laughs> well, number one, never, 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 and I mention never, accept an email with wiring instruction that does not come from a secure portal from the escrow company's office. And do not accept an email that has a wiring instructions right there in the body of the email. So number two, if you do receive any emails with instructions regarding wiring money, your first order of business 
is to pick up that phone and call the sender of that email. If it came from the escrow company, you're gonna call them and say, hey, I just received an email with the wiring instructions as to where I should send my down payment. And I just wanted to confirm with you that this is in fact the account number, the routing number, and trust me, they will be extremely happy to help you. And they will let you know if that email was legit or if it was hacked. So even when you go down to the bank to wire the money, you can call the escrow company right before you're wiring the money, call them during the, the procedure, and call them right afterwards too to make sure everything is there and it is good. Because I could not imagine one of my clients losing their life savings, which they thought was going towards their down payment of their home. I just couldn't even imagine having that conversation with somebody. So if you found this, this video helpful, give me a like, leave a comment, whether it's good, bad, whatever, and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out these videos every single week. And until next time, stay safe and take care. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Oh.